Um, and at the time you crossed over into Liberia, it was one Ulimo. Yeah. Were you in Bombing Hills or Tubman Bird when Ulimo split? I was there. Which side did you end up on? I end up K. Can you give some light on uh, what led to the split? As for me, the way I look at it, maybe other people may have their own versions, but I believe it's just power consciousness. Because Rufet Johnson too, at that time, sees himself to be growing more powerful. He doesn't want to take command from Alaji G.V. Kuma. He doesn't want to take command from Ama Yulo. So that's really brought the tussle. And secondly, they were doing certain appointments that this one group is not happy because of tribal business. The, the other group will come and say, well, it's crown men. Why they should make crown men they want? They want the other group will say, why they should make Maringo men? The other commander in front of people, jail at that. The high happy. Now, <clears throat> who can you remember as forming the Ulimo leadership at the time, the Ulimo K leadership. The Ulimo K? Yes. Who were those in the top leadership that you remember? I can remember he the GV, Ama Yulo, General Komba, but he's dead now. He died in Fonjama when he was coming with Lord Rebel at the place. What, what is the name? Combat. Uh-huh. And who else? Then I can remember Tabra Sherry. Papa, he was in the police. I think he was 103 doing Chancellor Regime. Then we were having other command in Morovia, like earlier on I mentioned Papi Kamara, one Papi Sherry, who shared Kafumba Kone. 